Hello friends, welcome back. Our today's topic of discussion is probability. As we know, probability is one of the very important topic for any kind of exams. Read the exams, maybe bank exams, SSC, railway, UPSC, CSAT, and placement trainings. In all the exams, minimum two to three questions can be expected. And for SBI exams, the probability plays a very important role. And sometimes we have seen the questions from probability will be four or five. So let's start with the concept. and then we will be solving few of the problems based on that so before solving before proceeding with the probability questions now i am going to tell you what is factorials what is permutation and what is combination because this will be used this will be used in probability so now if we we'll talk about the factorials then n factorial will be equal to you have to start with n n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 and then you have to go till the minimum number which is nothing but 1 which is nothing but 1 suppose if i ask you to calculate pro, uh, factorial of 5 then it will be 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so you have to start with the maximum number which is nothing but 5 and then you have to keep reducing then you have to keep reducing and you have to reach to 1 so 5 into 4 is 20 20 into 3 is 60 And 16 into 2 will be 120. So the 5 factorial will be equal to 120. Suppose if I ask you to calculate 4 factorial, then start with the 4 and then keep reducing by 1. 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, and you have to stop till 1. So 4 into 3 is 12. 12 into 2 is 24. So 4 factorial will be equal to 24. So like this, you we calculate the factorials. Now I'm going to write few factorials which you have to remember. So 0 factorial will be equal to 1. Then one factorial will be equal to one, two factorial will be equal to two, three factorial will be equal to six, four factorial will be equal to twenty-four, five factorial will be equal to one twenty, six factorial will be equal to seven twenty, seven factorial will be equal to five zero four zero, and eight factorial will be equal to forty thirty two zero. so these factorials you have to keep in mind so that you will be able to solve the problems easily see i am not asking you to uh, remember for more than eight factorial so this you can easily remember zero factorial is one even one factorial is also one two factorial is two three factorial is six four factorial is 24 five factorial is 120 six factorial is 720 seven factorial is 50 40 and eight factorial is 40 32 0 now let's see what is ncr and what is npr so ncr means ncr means we are going to select so we are going to select r distinct items r distinct items from n distinct item n distinct item okay and npr means we are going to arrange we are going to arrange r items from n distinct items n distinct items okay now what is ncr so how do we write ncr so ncr we will be writing like n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial n factorial divided by r factorial c n so n factorial c and r so r means r factorial and divided by n minus r factorial npr so how do we write the formula for npr so n factorial divided by n minus r factorial so the difference between ncr and npr will be this term r factorial so r factorial we will not be using in the npr so ncr is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial whereas npr will be equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial so combination means selection combination will be selection and permutation will be arrangement and permutation will be arrangement right okay so this should be clear for you and n distinct item means all the items are different here now let's take one example if you have to calculate 5c2 so how we are going to calculate so 5c2 means 5 factorial see whenever selection will come in picture that time you have to use ncr and whenever arrangement will come in picture you have to use npr so 5c2 is equals to 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial see n factorial r factorial 2 factorial into n minus r factorial so 5 minus 2 factorial now this will be 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 3 factorial right okay 5 minus 2 will be 3 factorial now friends let's see what i am going to do this 5 factorial i will expand 5 into 4 into till 3 factorial why because see 5 into 4 
5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So 5 into 4, I stop till 3 factorial because in the denominator we have, because in the denominator we have 3 factorial. So 3 factorial and 3 factorial will get cancelled and 2 factorial will be equal to 2. 2 2 is a 5 to 2 will be getting as 10. Now suppose if you have to calculate 7 C3. So 7 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 7 minus 3 will be equal to 4 factorial, right? Okay. Now this 7 factorial I will expand 7 into 6 into 5 into will stop till 4 factorial. So will stop till 4 factorial because 4 factorial is there in the denominator and it will and it will cancel this and 3 factorial will be equal to what? 6. 3 factorial will be equal to what? 6. So this 3 factorial is 6, 4 factorial will cancel, 4 factorial 6 and 6 cancel. So 7 minus 5 will be equal to 35. So what we learnt here is factorials and then NCR and then NPR. Now let's solve one problem here. So question number 1, when 4 fair coins are tossed together, what is the probability of getting at least 3 heads? So what is your requirement? You have to get, you have to get at least you have to get at least three heads right okay now so how many coins you are tossing together so you are tossing you are tossing how many coins you are tossing four coins so if you are tossing four coins then what will be the total outcomes so the total outcomes will become 2 to the power 4 is equals to 16 now it is difficult to write all the 16 outcomes here see we can write it but it is you know unnecessary wasting of time you will not be getting that much of time in your exam so what you have to get is you have to get at least three heads so minimum see at least means minimum you want three heads and maximum how many heads can you get here maximum you can get four heads here right okay now you can see the total number of see either you will be getting head 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 or you will be getting head 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 tail something like that you will be getting so here if you will see how many alphabets will be there four so out of the total four alphabets you want minimum three heads see at least so at least will be equal to three heads at least three heads so at least three heads and then i can i want four heads also right because they have a condition on minimum and but they don't have any condition on maximum see add minimum three heads and maximum what i can get is four heads so getting maximum four heads there is only one outcomes and now getting three heads how many outcomes are there so total there are four alphabets are there out of that you are going to select out of that you are going to select three heads from that now four c3 so if you calculate four c3 then it will be four factorial divided by three factorial into 4 minus 3 is 1 factorial. 1 factorial will be 1. Now 4 factorial you can write 4 into 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial. 3 factorial and 3 factorial will get cancelled. So 4 plus 1. So there will be total 5. So there will be total 5 favorable outcomes. So there will be total 5 favorable outcomes. There will be total 5 favorable outcomes where 4 will be 3 heads and 1 will be and one will be with four heads right okay so probability will be equal to friends probability will be equal to n e divided by n s that means so favorable outcomes is 5 and the total outcomes is 2 to the power 4 is 16 so 5 by 16 option c will be the correct answer for given question and this was one of the very important question i hope you understood the question and